Not too long ago, Elon Musk shot his car into space as a dummy payload and transmitted live video from it. But Flat Earthers aren't convinced by it. Because of course they're not. So after this event took place, Flat Earthers rushed to find all sorts of problems with it, and there are many, many videos sort of dissecting it from many different variations of opinion. And it was kind of hard to find a Flat Earther video that wasn't a chore to sit through. So after sifting through some of them, I found this one. First of all, I'm going to tell you why this fake, okay? When you Google the Earth, what pops up? The ball Earth, right? It's, be, it's like almost perfect. If you zoom in on this you can see corners in the god Earth. That's how you know this like edited and photoshopped. In all honesty, I don't know what he's talking about here. Because if you zoom in, you don't see anything. I thought at first that he was talking about artifacting, but if I overdo the lightness and saturation, there's hardly anything there. And that glow around Earth is the Earth's atmosphere, which is how we breathe. We'd expect to see that. And by the way, the atmosphere isn't sucked into the vacuum of space because that's not how vacuums work. Flat Earthers don't tend to understand that. Anyway, I can see a bit of artifacting on this side, but that doesn't mean it's edited. It just means it's compressed, which is completely understandable considering it's an HD live stream from space. Number two, what you don't see on the Earth? No continents, no United States at all. All you see right now is clouds and water. You remember when you showed us this part of the live stream? You see that bit that's more brown than blue? That's land. You can see land more clearly at these points in the live stream, but here's what's going on. Here's the United States. Hey, where's the land? All I see right now is clouds and water. It's as if there's an ocean that takes up a third of Earth's surface. Number three, what the f star is it? You don't see no stars, no god well. If this is fake and for some reason this company was trying to make a convincing stream from space. Why would they leave out the stars? Surely if they didn't want people to question this, then they would have thought to add stars to make it a bit more believable. Look, the reason why you can't see any stars is because of the camera and its limitations. See, stars aren't as bright as you think they are, and they're certainly not as bright as the illuminated Earth. Now, the exposure on the camera is set to be able to clearly show the Earth and the car, but an exposure that short or low is not enough to be able to clearly see most stars. And if the exposure was set to be able to see the stars, then everything else would be totally overexposed. It's kind of like how you can see stars at night, but not during the day, or how you can't see as many stars during a full moon, or in a brightly lit city with a lot of light pollution. Number four, what the f the satellite set? If it's tens to twenty thousands of satellites around the Earth, what the f they it? I don't see well, most satellites are actually debris, and most of this debris is less than 10 centimeters in diameter. But I mean, think about it. Even if you just have the surface of the Earth, and you had 20,000 people, you could easily strategically place people on the Earth so that no one person would be able to see another. The same thing is true of satellites. It's even easier since they're more spread out. I mean, they would have to find a clear path so that Starman here doesn't get too close and risk running into another satellite. Now, from where he is, from, from, from him being in space or whatever, this motherfucker in the car, and how big you bother say that the Earth is, that means all behind him should be blue. I, should see, I shouldn't see no black, unless he's far away from the guy Earth. Okay, so you just answered your own question. Which means we should be able to see the moon. What a moon it? There it is. It's right there. There it goes. Oh look, there it is again. Majestic. And another thing. Why the the Earth ain't spinning? You got, you, you telling me, you telling me on NASA's site, they have a live 
a fake live view of the earth spinning. Now that this mother in space with the car is just a, a steel earth, it ain't even spinning no more. How fast do you think the earth is? The earth makes one rotation every 24 hours. That's pretty slow, at least too slow to be visible. Now as for this live view of the earth spinning, I take it you're talking about the International Space Station. But here's the thing, the ISS is actually going pretty fast. About 28,000 kilometers an hour, or 17,000 miles per hour, making five and a half orbits per day, or one orbit every 93 minutes. It's also in low Earth orbit, being closer to the Earth. That's why you can see a lot of motion in the ISS stream. Now, the Tesla Roadster is going pretty fast, don't get me wrong, but not as fast, and not around the Earth, but away from it. In, in this sh right here, what was supposed to be the sunlight, this glare that I can make, like this, that's supposed to be the sunlight. Don't let these people lie to you, man. <sighs> okay, look, here's what happens when I shine a bright light into my camera. Oh, oh, that's supposed to be a flashlight? That, that flare, that glare there? That's, I, I, I can make that in Photoshop. That's obviously not a real flashlight. How, look how fake that looks. What do you expect to see? Are we supposed to be able to clearly see the extremely bright sun and very dim stars on the same or similar exposure setting meant to be able to clearly see the Earth and this car? What do you expect? Because you're making yourself look f stupid. Now, that's it for this particular video. Next up is some criticism from the infamous Eric Dubay, who some flat earthers treat as a scholar for some reason. Well, see, Eric never talks in his videos at all, except for the videos where he reads his own books. But instead, he goes through the minimal effort of putting text in wacky fonts over the footage. But basically, he thinks that they messed up because they showed this, and it opened up to show the Earth. This has got to be the dumbest criticism of this that I've seen. Here's the thing. They didn't just strap a car on top of a rocket. Instead, they put it inside of what's called a payload fairing. Like you said in your video, or put in text rather, it's still inside this thing. And what you're watching is that fairing being jettisoned, or opening. It's not complicated stuff. And that's pretty much the whole video. And this is pretty much the end of this video. I wanted to respond to more Flat Earth arguments, but I guess having enough content for another video isn't always a bad thing. But thanks for watching.